Okay, I started the recording, but I'm also going to start the stream. We've never done a stream. We've done stream... A, we did a stream once. And that was like back in December. So I'm a little nervous, so... Yeah, me too. A little bit. I spent most of the day setting this up. Hopefully, this works. Alright, so we're continuing the Treasures missions. We are on mission number 26. Yeah, I think we're live. We're on 26. Yes. So remove your weapon because we got to go touch the um, Imperial White Gate again. Yeah, I think it's working. Awesome. My computer hasn't freaked out and crashed yet. <laughs> Good. This is still kind of new to me. There's one problem though. <clears throat> it says your bitrate settings is out of recommended for Twitch and Twitter. Please set bitrate value less than 4,000. How do you do that? That's weird. I thought you want a higher bitrate. Let me see. Let me just go test this real fast, make sure. I did this right. Twitch may not even be working. Nah, looks like it's working. I don't know why I said that, but it looks like it's working. Cool. That's pretty neat. I like how you can do that. One second, I'm sorry. Okay. You want me to read? Well, yeah, it's a boy. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> you want to know what's behind the gate. This gate leads to the Imperial Ward. You may only enter by the grace of her magnificence, the Empress, or if you have al citizenship. What's this? You say the Grand Vizier has sent for you? Not so fast. I have to check this with my superior. Very well. You are free to pass through the gate. The Imperial Ward lies on the other side of the wall. Watch your tongue in there, mercenary. Sell swords. <laughs> I can hear you just like down in your wine over there. Must have been a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> like chugging. I did not. We meet again, mercenary. Rewind, wasn't it? We are once again in need of your impressive talents. According to the report we received from Salahim's Sentinels, it appears that Noxie and Rewind are entrusted with duties not only within the boundaries of the Empire, but across every region of the Iraja continent. Would you agree with this evaluation? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> but that as it may, we have seen not the slightest response from the astral compass you carry on your person. Gasad of the at Ergon Archaeological Research Institute, that's a mouthful. <laughs> yes, it is. Was most disappointed by the lack of astral... I still can't say that word. Candescence. Candescence. Readings. <laughs> <laughs> However, we have no intention of abandoning our research for this 
incandescence. I still can't say <laughs> that. The Empire and the Empress must know peace once more. Our citizens have suffered enough. As a mercenary on the front lines of battle, you, as much as anyone, should understand the importance of our mission. Raban, the details of the mission, if you will. Sir, I trust you remember the court puppet master? Lady Aphmau has disappeared from the palace grounds. This was some days ago. From your expression, I assume this is the first you've heard of the matter. Considering your recent involvement in events, we thought that perhaps you might. It appears we shall have to widen our search area. I leave this matter in your capable hands. The Serpent Generals require my presence. Sir? As you have probably guessed, the Grand Vizier wishes you to track down the whereabouts of Lady Afmao. We believe she set out to search the winding tunnels of Idiwa for her lost automaton, Ofjang. Nijing, her other automaton, is missing along with his mistress. We have already sent Rishvi of the Immortals to recover our wayward puppet master, but I am dubious of his potential for success. If she learns that an immortal is on her trail, she is likely to go into hiding. Rewind. I give you these orders in the name of the Grand Vizier. You are to return to the Adima subterrane and assist Rishvi in his efforts to locate Lady Afmao. I will communicate the details of the mission to your company. Do not fail us. Okay. Weapon back on. Oh, we're gonna equip the- okay. So if you didn't have the weapon equipped, you're not allowed to talk to him or something? Yeah, they don't allow anyone to talk to them if you have weapons. Oh. Okay, we unlocked the survival guide at the Adiwa subterrain. We just have to find it. Alright. Page two, Moomuljaw Savage, Idiwa Subterrain. Which one was it, I'm sorry? Moomuljaw and then Idiwa oh, Subterrain. Okay, I found it, I found it. Nice music. We will need Sneak and Invisible. Okay, let's go. I know I love the music here. It's very it's relaxing. Yes, very relaxing. I can fall asleep to this. Yes. <laughs> I looked ahead at the next three missions, and so far there isn't any that say wait till the next day. Thank goodness. I know, right? The last couple of days we had like two in a row that made us wait till the next day, and that really sucks. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I could totally fall asleep to this music. <laughs> For sure. So we're about halfway done with treasures? A little uh, over half. It, there's 48 missions and we are now on 27. Nice. We 
we're also doing um, Bastok missions. We've already done Sandoria. We've already done Windurst, but we're doing Bastok now. We're trying to do all three. Mm -hmm. We did all of ZM. We did all of COP. That took forever. Yeah, it did. And we're about halfway halfway with treasures. We started these, this character, I think it was at like December of last year. Mm -hmm. And I've been recording it on YouTube. Even though last year my equipment wasn't very good, so I might not sound the best. You went down? Okay, there you are. Sorry, I'm lagging behind a little bit. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice. All right. It is on me. We got to touch the same spot as last time. The blank target. Really? The same mm -hmm. one? Where the heck is it? I don't see it. It's right next to me. I know that, but it's not letting... Is it different for me? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought it was you that was selecting. Oh, no. Oh ho! Immortals have big clink clink. <laughs> we be lucky today. We be so lucky to listen to Wawa Rune. Gogarun lucky. Gogarun love sound of clink clink. <laughs> ah, member nine. Wawa Rune. But what of Wawa Rune? Yo, check immortal not trying to fool us, yes? Job for Wawa Rune. V Wawa Rune check. Rarune? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Woo. This immortal, not fooling. Rarune. Ah, okay. Member 7. Gogarune. What? Search immortal for Clink Clink. Uh, okay. Gogarune going in. <laughs> we be rolling in Clink Clink. <laughs> Immortal having nothing. Impossible. Look again. Gogarun telling yo. Immortal bees having nothing. Gogarun feeling blow? <laughs> Blue? Blue. Aha, someone coming. Rurun. Leave the immortal. We be getting out of here. Okay. We be lucky another time. <laughs> Okay, Vivarum meeting with Wavarun later. Rarun. They're so cute. I know. Ugh, where? Who's there? Oh, it's you. I wonder how long I was out. I didn't hear or sense anything until someone was right behind me. I must be getting careless. Who would be bold enough to assault an immortal? But I've wasted too much time already. I have to find... Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Huh? You were sent by the Grand Vizier. You're too late. It seems I arrived here after Aphmau had already left. You can still see Hume and Automation footprints all over the place. I'm certain she was here. But I don't think she found any sign of Avjang. How do I know that? I had just found her dragging footprints heading out of the tunnels, as if she had given up. And then everything went black. All was not lost, however. I think I know where she went. Walra Temple. I'm almost certain she would return there. Let's get moving. Whoa. My head is still spinning. 
Rewind. You must return to Alzavia and make sure she's okay. I... I have to see her before the other immortals figure out where she is. No time to lose. Poor guy. Okay, we're back. So far, not much variety with her treasures. We seem to be going the same place over and over again. I know, even touching the exact, <laughs> exact same, same spot. spot. Yeah. White Gate 2. Okie dokie. Looks like in the next mission, we actually do get to some go somewhere new that we've never been before. Where? Um, after one more cutscene, then we're going to go to the Jade Sepulcher in Mumblejaw. Nice. You're not nervous, are you? No, are you? Nope. You're being quieter. I don't know if maybe the whole streaming thing's nervous for you. Because we haven't really done... We've mostly just done recording. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, There hasn't been very many females talking, and mostly we've been reading story. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Walhara Temple. How may I aid you in your quest for knowledge? Hello. Another soul thirsty for answers. <laughs> this is turning out to be quite the day for visitors. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> Rewind. This is a coincidence. Lord Nady? Please excuse me while I compare notes with my esteemed colleague. How do you fare? Nothing terrible has befallen you. No, no. You need not elaborate. I'm sure you are here to give your weary spirit a moment's respite from the madness of our occupation. Or perhaps it is some duty that brings you to the temple. What, pray tell, lures you within the Hall of Serenity? Uh, it doesn't matter. say to speak with someone. To speak with someone. To speak with someone? One of the philosophers? The court puppet master? What dire circumstance would involve a mercenary in the pulling of strings and the dancing of automations? <laughs> the court puppet master? Lord Nady, if there is something we should know, now they set mercenary hirelings on her trail. It appears the Grand Vizier has, has tired of this game of cat and mouse. It was only a matter of time. I suppose I should have to come clean, as they say. And since you have some rudimentary understanding of Walhara's teachings, I will trust to your judgment. I spelled judgment wrong. Uh, I have given the yeah. court puppet master, Lady Aphmau, shelter within the temple. You have given shelter to an imperial fugitive. That is correct. You have broken imperial law. I cannot dispute this fact. Why would you do this thing? Some explanation is in order. You see, Aphmau was born a child in high standing, a resident of the palace, a member of the royal family. However, her mother passed away when she was still but six years of age, and the responsibility for her upbringing came to the rest with uh, Walhara Temple. What an unfortunate story. Yet there must be more to the tell if none within the palace were willing to care for her. Yes. The details are not mine to divulge, however. Her childhood was spent within these walls, surrounded by monks and philosophers. How does such a child find the path of a puppet master? I was not aware of it at the time. But apparently, Lady Aphmau secretly learned the art from the street performers who practice on the way of the devout. 
Would not an expensive item such as an automation have been difficult for a young girl to acquire? You are familiar with automations, Gesso. I must admit to some curiosity. Then I shall speak more on the subject. Lady Aphmal arrived at the temple carrying two of the mechanical puppets. One she received from her mother, and the other from her older brother. Ha! <laughs> now I remember. At first, the puppets were completely incapable of speech, and merely trotted around behind their little mistress. <laughs> They're cute. Before long, however, there was barely a moment when they weren't voicing their opinions on everything in sight. This change was accompanied by a return of Lady Aphmal's natural playfulness. I am glad to hear that. I know only too well the loneliness and uncertainty that come with being thrust into an unfamiliar environment at a young age. Indeed. However, there came a day when Aphmal's simple life was irrevocably changed. Yes, it was that day. Hey, it's Tommy. Yeah, he's watching said, the stream. Yeah, he there's a bot that was trying to advertise already. <laughs> <laughs> Did I read that one already? Uh, not from Rishvi. Lady Afmal, we have come on orders from the Grand Vizier. We regret to inform you that on the evening of the previous day, the Imperial's immortal soul passed out of the realm of Urgum. Urgum. I had not seen Lady Aphmau since that day. There are so many memories that flood back when I hear that we hear her name. She is currently within the Hall of Binding. You may speak with her if you wish. The hall adjoins our temple and can be reached through the door behind us. I shall remain here. There are some matters I wish to discuss with Lord Nady. Natty. Nady Natty. Uh, let's go with Nady. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, Nijing was the boy. The actual plinth. It looks exactly as I remember. I was studying day in, day out. The letters from my brother had stopped coming. It was more than I could bear. So you snuck into the Hall of Binding? Yes, with you. And off. Oh, sorry. And off Jing. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching the candescent spinning around and around somehow made me feel better. It was like being wrapped in a warm blanket of peace and calm. <laughs> that was the first time. The first time you talked to me. It was? Nijing, you are... you really are hopeless. That was when I realized I wasn't really alone. You and Ofjang were always by my side. And although I couldn't see them, my father and brother were here in the city. And my mother. I'm sure she's... She is watching over you. I am certain. Yes. I decided then and there that I would become a puppet master like my mother. You slipped out of the temple every night and practiced with those performers. And then Avjang began to speak as well. Avjang really was the talkative one. Yes, she was. But she was so talkative that I couldn't hear your voice anymore. Well, that was then. You know, Nijing, I have no idea what the astral candescence is meant to be used for. But if the other candescences are found, and the Colossus is completed, just like the Grand Vizier says, there will come a day when everyone can be happy again. I'm sure of it. I mean, just, look at the, just looking at this orb was enough to turn my life around. Everything will turn out for the best. Don't you think, Nijing? No comment. Nah. <laughs> like, whatever. Uh, 
Noxie, what are you doing here? By order of the Grand Vizier? You can't be serious. <laughs> yeah. You had to think really hard about it. <laughs> You're here to take me back? No, I won't go. There are still things I have to do. Go back to the palace and tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> do you still take orders from us? Uh, not sure. from you. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> now that's our mercenary talking. You may leave us now. Lord Nady? The immortal, Rishfi, is here to see you. The Grand Vizier is on to us. Lady Aphimau, I am glad to see you unharmed. Now it is time for you and Minjing to accompany me back to the palace. The earlier you return, the less Lord Rajfod will be angry when he re when he learns. You haven't made a report? No, Master Mingjing. I thought to first or offer the option to Lady Aphmau. A commendable attitude. Then I shall be pleased to inform you that Lady Aphmau will not be returning to the palace. But my lady. There are tasks left undone. Lady Aphmau? You still hope to find Avjang? If you knew that, why do you try to stop us? Rishvi, your face is pale. I... it's nothing. You should return to the Imperial Ward and visit the infirmary. You're very kind, my lady. However... You'll just slow us down. <laughs> <laughs> you are exactly to do you and... wait. I just said that wrong. And where exactly do you intend to carry out this search of yours? I... I'm not going to tell you. You won't? Ugh. Please, my lady. It is not safe out there. The immortals will do everything in their power to return Avjang to your side. I don't believe you. You think I don't know? The immortals are so busy watching the beastmen and searching for the Aju Talif. There isn't a single soldier to spare for poor Avjang. I only thought too. If I may. Who is this? I am Gesho, a colleague of Rewind and the employee of Salahim Sentinels. Hmm, <laughs> another mercenary. I may have some welcome news. Just recently I was in the vicinity of Mount Zoilam on mercenary business. And at the foot of the volcano, I happened to see a red-colored puppet. And then? This automation was trotting along the path all alone. But being busy with my mission, I was unable to follow. It must have been Avjang. One moment, Lady Afmao. The trolls of that region have stolen many autom automatons from the Empire. This is true. Ah, yes. I had forgotten. You weren't done? There appeared to be something like moss or lichen stuck to the puppet's clothes. Moss? Could it have been moss from the Idewa subterrain? I merely resent the facts. How you interpret them is not for me to say. Only... Yes? Automatons taken to Havang are thoroughly modified by Moblin craftsmen to follow the orders of the trolls. After this process, they are barely recognizable. No! <laughs> I would not waste any time. As you suspect, this automaton was your companion. Yes, thank you. It is time I took my leave of you. Guess so. T to what forsaken wilderness do you travels take you this time? I ah, cannot talk today. <laughs> my duties dictate a visit to the settlement of Mamuk. A dangerous region. Do, do take care of yourself. Your concern is appreciated. Until next we meet. That settles it. We go to Mount Xylom. Lady Afmal, if I may. Rishvi, 
Do you place so little faith in the court puppet master? Time is running out. I have just received confirmation. This Gesho character has no official orders that involve a visit to the capital of the Mamul Jaw. He was lying? In that unmistakable presence, I felt the exact same aura just before I lost consciousness in Adima. What are you trying to say? <laughs> that story of his was nothing more than a ruse. In fact, it's more likely that we'll find Ajang in the same place to which he now travels, Mamuk. Then Mamuk is our destination. Why don't you escort me as well, Rishvi? If you are so intent on running headlong into danger, I suppose I have no choice. But what do you mean, as well? Isn't it obvious? I wouldn't brave the depths of Memuk without my faithful bodyguard. Even if she is under the command of the Grand Vizier. May the wisdom of Wara safely guide your steps. Okay, we get to go somewhere new. That thing looks like one of like our kids' toys. Do you remember that thing? <laughs> yeah, it does. Where the hell did you go? Oh, sorry. Oh, there you are. I thought you were following me. Here I am. Let's go ahead and get sanctioned because we are going to have a battle. I can't believe it's been a year since we started our characters. Oh, well, me neither. On this server. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jaime said, gifting the kids a gateway to the astral realm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he teleported again. I'll wait. It does it seems to only do that like in White Gate. Yeah. There you are. There's only like three people here, including us. Eleven's a ghost town now. Well this server is. Everyone plays Fortnite now. <laughs> That's true. When I had my video game club last week at school, like Everyone was like, well, where's Fortnite? I was like, well, I brought the new Mario game. Well, that's cool and all, but but where's Fortnite? <laughs> that's all they know. Yeah, uh, no one had ever played Mario Wonder. Of course, it had only been out a week, but still. But you were saying they're, it's like they never played a Mario game at all before. Oh, yeah. They, they didn't make it past the first world, and we were in there an hour and 45 minutes. And I thought the game was, it was almost too easy. We mm -hmm. had like 99 lives, and... It, as, uh, at one point, I even said during our our video that was this game made for five year olds. Yeah, I, mean, I liked it, but it, oh, I really liked it too. But I thought it was easier than all the other Mario games. But it definitely had like a younger mm -hmm. audience feel to it than usual. Especially with like the talking flowers and stuff, and how like yeah. um, they would talk to you as you walk by. I, I really liked it a lot. And they give you hints. Mm hmm. It wasn't bad. No. I just don't think it's one of my favorite Mario games. I uh, I still want to see the um, Super World, but yeah. We needed a break after we played for like nine hours. Oh god, we played a lot of Mario. We beat almost every one of them. I can't... Yeah, we beat Mario 3, Mario 2, Mario 1. Lost Worlds, Super Mario World, like, ten times mm -hmm. <laughs> in the span of a year. Yep. And the Wii U version. And we did Super Mario 2 3D twice. When, yeah. When does uh, RPG Remake come out? Mario RPG? Uh, I don't know. I saw an ad talking about it, but I don't know if there's a... I'll have to look that up later. We are looking for... I've been wanting to play the original again. 12. I, haven't, I haven't beaten that game since I was a child. And honestly, I don't remember most of it. I, I'd, I'd start the game and play like a fourth way into it and just like get distracted. I've only beaten it once, I think. I've never played. Ever. 
I'm terrible with RPGs. I always get like halfway in and I give up. I just get distracted. Yeah, game is a blast. The music's good. Yeah. Oh, we, we also did, um, I did Super Mario 64. Yeah. Yeah, we, we played just about every one of them almost. You still need to do like Galaxy. Galaxy and Odyssey. Those would be fun. Odyssey was super fun. We could take turns on that one, like getting moons and stuff. Or, um, or I could look stuff up for you either way. Yeah, when Mario RPG came out, that was kind of like the golden years of Square. Before the dark times hit. The dark times. When they made that movie, and it bombed, <laughs> and then Enix bought them out, and here we are. Was it Advent Children that was the bombing movie? No, it was just Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. It was the uh, C a CG movie. Yeah, yeah. he said, um, Jaime said we need to play uh, the PC port of Mario 64, the, the render, it's called Render 64. I've seen, yeah, I've seen pictures of that. I haven't. So what's it like? Uh, just the same game, just um, way better graphics. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. you should get that for us. Might be, might be kind of fun. Yeah. Mario 64 is one of my all-time favorite games. I beat my record when I when I played it last week and beat it in three hours. If I recorded or streamed that, would uh, would Nintendo lawyers come after me? <laughs> I hope not. I got a knock on the door. It's like the hitman from uh, the IT crowd. You wouldn't That's steal. What I was you thinking. wouldn't steal a car, <laughs> and then they come behind you and just cap you in the back of your head. <laughs> you wouldn't steal a policeman's helmet. <laughs> then go uh, what, what do you say like use and it take a dump in it and like give it to his wife I don't think he said that I think he said use it as a toilet or, or something, something like that. it was something and then give it back to them and then steal it again <laughs> yeah I do on 64 you're right so maybe they wouldn't come after me it looks like there's a survival guide out here in the middle of nowhere if you want to grab it We never got that one? Oh, you're right. Yeah, let's grab it. I don't think so. I've never been out this far. And it's reverse engineered, so don't know if they can say anything. That's true. It reminds me how those guys reverse engineered that Tomb Raider game. It's, not, it's like built from the ground up or something. I forgot the details. I haven't played it yet, but some guys just made the original Tomb Raider. Hmm. And it works like it's a standalone ROM or emulator or something. Oh, yeah. I also like the guys who like made the PS1 inspired Bloodborne game. <laughs> Just release it for free. Really? Yeah. We should play Bloodborne again. It's been forever. I have it, but I haven't played it yet. It's only like the first level or something. It's not the full game. Mm. It looked really hard. <laughs> oh, I bet. It looks like a PS1 game. It's great. Yeah, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. That kind of it kind of the uh, the Bloodborne PS1 thing kind of reminded me of that. I used to love that game when I was a kid. I don't know if you ever oxidated. I don't know if you ever played um the first Legacy of Cain, the overhead one. I don't know if it's a PS1. I don't know if it's a I don't know if it's a car. I don't know if it's considered the first one. Then whatever the whatever the PS the Blood Omen or something that you die at the very first. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, I I, thought, I figured you had it. I like I beat it like the f I didn't beat it. I played like the first. I was too, it was too hard for me or something. I I couldn't beat it or something. Hmm. Velvictus. Yeah, I, I barely remember. I, I rented it. I was like, this is crazy. And um, I just couldn't beat it. I don't know why. Maybe I just sucked at the game or something. The trolls are cool here. You need to get the chat on there so you can see what... I know. Um, my plan all day was to have the chat like on my iPad so I could see it, but then I totally forgot and left it in the bedroom. Uh, David, you can't, you can't read the chat, but David asked, did we meet in the game? It's awesome that you decided to relive the experience. Uh, we actually met... At McDonald's. At McDonald's. <laughs> not, not as exciting as a Not as exciting, game. no. 
Um, uh, we, we got married. We both had mutual friends that introduced us at McDonald's. And then and back in 2006, I gave her a copy of Eleven. And it's like handing someone crack on the street, and she's been hooked ever since. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> now she likes the game more than I do. Like, Let's play Eleven. I'm like, really? Come on. I okay. know. Sometimes he's like, oh, but there's so many other games. I'm like, I know, but Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was my first Christmas present from you in December of 06. And my computer was an e-machines from Walmart and it wouldn't run it. Yeah, our goal, we've been playing for about a year now on YouTube. And this is the first night we've streamed it. But we really wanted to beat the game, beat the story before, knock on wood. I hope the servers don't go down. I don't think they will, at least not anytime soon, but... I would rather us read, get it over with. It's been on a bucket list for a long time because we mostly just played, like, back in the back in the good old days where you know it took like a year to get level seventy five. Mm -hmm. You know, but the game yeah. is still really fun. It is super fun. Yeah, we made these characters about a year ago, um, with the intent of beating every story in order. So we did ZM first, and then COP. And then um, Dynamis, and now we're working on Treasures, and then we will do... We're doing Bastlock right now, too. Oh, yeah, and we're we, doing Bastlock, because yeah. we already did Sandy and Wendy, rank 10. And then after Treasures, we'll do Abyssia, and then Wings of the Goddess, and then Adeline and the three Shintoto Ascensions. So I'm really excited, because we haven't seen any of this story. And we're trying to stay at level 75 for the 75 content mm -hmm. we made a we made a, a job just for that uh i'm, I'm samurai and she's monk slash ranger sometimes whenever sometimes she... ranger sometimes monk yeah i also have 75 blue mage if i wanted to bust that out um we also have 99 jobs in in case the content gets too hard um we both have a 99 ninja which is so much fun in modern retail yeah because you throw fuma shurikens like non-stop without using any ammo it's like an ability now you just throw them and it does crazy good damage so we both have throwing capped for the first yeah. time ever okay i'm gonna bring out our trust because i don't know how dangerous this place is if you will check the map and see if there's any crystals or survival guides jason says hi guys i don't think the servers are going down anytime soon especially considering the the weeks uh yeah the update announcement yeah you're right i'm that really that really is good news that, made me, that made me feel better yeah well there is uh tomorrow night or tonight one of the two i saw the i saw the message when i logged on this morning so there's like an hour long server patch going in or something nice but you should get that chat thing working on your computer you can get it on your phone um where I'm, are you watching i'm streaming i'm doing a multicast so i'm going to youtube i'm also going to um Twitch and kick. I think even Facebook. So pick your poison. <laughs> okay, so but if I pull it up on YouTube, will I see everybody like chat, chat from all? Should things? yeah, the program sends the the text should show up everywhere, uh, if not on the main screen at least. But I don't know. This is my first time. I'm kind of new to new to this. So I don't know if I did it wrong or something. It's not on the main screen. Ooh, I can okay. hear myself. <laughs> Okay, so now I just need to mute this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. Let I heard me... myself in the past. <laughs> Are you on YouTube? I'm on YouTube, yes. I just need to rotate it to... There we go. Cool. Right, okay, so now I can see. Where are we going now? All right. Um, enter Memuk. Then exit at F10. All right, so. Oh, it looks like there's a survival guide right in front of us. Perfect. Yeah, Oxidid says the, uh, the bot doesn't seem to be working on Twitch. Hmm. So you can't see everyone's message. Yeah, you only you know, see the messages like on the stream itself. Is that what you mean? I see their messages on YouTube, so that's cool. Oh, but he said Twitch. But Twitch isn't working. Oh, looks like 
there's going to be a future event that's going to be cross server. Cool. I don't know if 14's getting that one update. Yeah, um, that I'm really excited about because you get to re explore Vanna DL. So. Oh, I see them. They're a bit delayed, but they are working. That's cool. Cool. That's good. All right. Sneak invisible. Because who knows what's in here? I thought it was best to multi stream because a lot of people don't like Twitch. Some people don't like YouTube. Some people like Kick. And some people like Facebook. So you pick your poison and. Did you ever get it to work on X? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I put it on there. I don't know if it's working. I didn't know Twitch even, or not Twitch. I'm sorry. I didn't know that Twitter X even does that. I thought Twitter is like for like posting. Like, hey, I'm about to stream. Go here. I didn't know actually can. Oh, Elon start, started that. Um, oh, really? Where you could stream from there. Yeah. Well, I just made an account, so I have a whole whopping zero zero people following me. So. Oh no, you have one because I followed <laughs> I you. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't count. You're you're part of the show. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't necessarily know where I'm going, just hope we end up in the right direction. I think YouTube's the best for streaming because they allow 60 frames, I think up to like four, maybe 4K, I don't know if that's that high, but as fast as your internet allows. And we have fiber, and Twitch, unless you're affiliated, I think it puts it on 720. 30 frames. So really, Twitch is really the worst place you can watch it. YouTube's probably the best. But the problem with YouTube is I think it's kind of hard to find people. Mm -hmm. Twitch, it's a, if you... When I'd find new streamers, I love to find small rooms. I like to talk to people. I don't like, I don't like big rooms where there's like a thousand people in the chat just like flying by like, you know, like super fast. I guess these Porogos are a true sight. Yep. But dude, remember those in 14? They were hanging outside the witch's cave. Yeah. Others, oh, others. X might not let you share chat with other platforms. Hmm. Oh. I don't, I don't know if my bot goes through. But at least I have the chat on the screen, so at least you can see chat there at least. Yeah. I was afraid of that, so that's why I put it there. Also, because I'm putting this on YouTube later, I don't want people to see that I'm just talking to myself like a crazy person. <laughs> well, besides you, of course, but... Well, right. That voice in my head said, some, said this the other day, and... Good thing I brought the trust out just in case, because I know Treasures has quite a few monsters that are true sight. <laughs> to avoid the crowd, you have to refrain from doing a hot tub stream in your bikini. Oh, man. I don't know if you want to see me in a bikini, guys. <laughs> that, that was my idea for tomorrow. And there it went. Yeah. Maybe, maybe my Mithra <laughs> in a virtual world that might be able to pull that off. Sneaking invisible. I guess I could say hot, hot tub bikini action, but it's really just a Mithra wearing a, wearing a bikini. Right. In my hot tub in my, uh, you know, like mog in house. your mog house. In, four, in 14 <laughs> especially, because I, I have a hot tub in 14. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this one thumbnail. I was, I was setting up my uh, stuff here oh, tonight. Oh, crap. I hope it was okay that I fell. And I just got aggro. <laughs> well, come come down here. Bring him down here. This frog's going to gonna kill me. Fall. Fall. <laughs> Bring him down here. Well, I, was, I saw this thumbnail. Oh man, I'm gonna die. I need to put my. I need to do something here. Can you bring him down here? Come on. He's just Come hanging on. out. He's just hanging there. He's chilling. I have no range. I'm a monk. Come on. Oh god, now, on, I, now I grow the fish. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. B75, they said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> As I aggro everything. <laughs> <laughs> No, what I was saying, like, there was a thumbnail. I saw this girl's butt naked on Twitch. She's, like, putting a hand in front of her nipples. And I was like, what? How are they... How are they How are they doing that in Twitch now? And it's oh basically like softcore porno now. Yeah, he's, yeah <laughs> oh, I saw that. That's funny. Hot tub on 14. On. That's funny. People will do anything for views nowadays. I guess so. I haven't got that desperate yet. I don't think people want to see a guy in a mankini. 
<laughs> I know, no, yeah. <laughs> a mankini. Yeah, you'll, uh... You're not going to attract really the good crowd doing that. No. I recommend chicks and chainmail. <laughs> hey, that, that's... You know, some people might be into that. They might be. You know, okay. some people get really nerdy about that. And every time they see a girl wearing, like, a breastplate with, like, you know, the shape for, you know, for breasts and stuff. Like, that's, that's not practical. They didn't have that back in the day. I'm that's like, dude, come practical. on, dude. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. Because it's a scary place. Oh, you okay. fell. You fell again. Yeah, because I had to. There's like a, a drop off, but we need to get like in that hole over there. So let's go around here and see if we can find a um a ramp. Oh, there's a ramp. Okay, we're good. Yeah, David said we should continue to Wings. Oh, I we definitely are. I heard that yeah. Wings is the best story wise. Yeah, it's that's next. Um, definitely after um treasures and we'll beat Abyssia. We're trying to go in order. Go in order, yeah. Kind of. We're doing bass luck at the same time, because cause sometimes these missions make you wait an hour, you know how that goes, and you're like, well, let's go do something. Yes. We'll do bass luck. For sure. <laughs> we just need to decide which nation to do Wings of the Goddess with. Um, I've, um, I've heard that... Um, I've heard that bass talk was good. Well, we've done all three nations, so really, whatever you want to do. I mean, I don't care. Either way. We started Winders. I guess I'm kind of a Winders person, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I don't know if you can do all three of them. You might have to, like, start over. I think you would have to, like, erase your memory or something and uh -oh. kind of, like, with nations, you know? That like total recall. <laughs> oh, Abyssia came after Wings. I was thinking it was before. Okay. Abyssia came. So Abyssia was, like, when they first... Increase the level cap. Okay, so yeah. I guess we'll do wings next. Okay. Yeah. Abyssia is fun, but there's not that much story involved. <laughs> but no, you I can read, do it if you want to. I read that you can beat, like, all the zones in two hours. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. I pretty much stopped playing when Abyssia came out. Nothing against the game. I just kind of got distracted with life. Is uh, Jason's oh, favorite, your favorite Sandy? Sandy? Cool. Uh, that sounds fun. I like. I've always liked Sandy. I've so always liked I might, Sandy I might too. do that. Yeah, I, I love all three nations. I do. I like the Sandy. Um, it was the f well, maybe. I think it was the very first zone I made in 2003. I started in 2003, and I remember the first thing I did is I logged on to Sandoria and I fell in love with the music. Mm -hmm. No, actually, I take that back. I started in Bastok, and I didn't know the controls, and I logged off, and I like look at the manual. What do I do here? How do I? I didn't realize you had to use the number pad to walk and stuff. <laughs> See, and now that's like all I use and you've switched to controller for some odd reason. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well it's just comfortable to me. Yeah, yeah. Secrets of Adelin will definitely be last. I have a mechanical keyboard. You don't want to hear me play 11 with that's, a mechanical keyboard. You get clack, true. clack, clack. <laughs> clink, clink. clink. Yeah, clink, clink. <laughs> Perhaps confusing Abyssia and yeah, Secret. Yeah, with Seekers, yeah. yeah. Um, now, I did make a character... Um, not last summer, the summer before, and because I'm a teacher, so I get summers off. And while he was at work, I just my mission was to completely like make a new character, get to 99, and beat Rhapsodies. So I did. So I was able to beat all of the missions up to the point where you had to. So I've seen the first like 10 missions of Adeline or whatever, but haven't beat it. So yeah. that'll be fun for us to do because I don't know if you've even been there mm. at all. <laughs> That was when I've pretty much left the game. I do remember like getting there, and that's about it. I remember like, oh, this is pretty, and then I logged off, and ten years later, here I am. <laughs> Determined to actually beat the game. On a mission. That's right. I've been wanting to do this for like 20 years. Oh, I know, me too. Back in the day, it took forever to do anything, let alone because you have to have people to help you. Yeah. And it yeah. took a year to get 75. My first job was... 75 samurai and it, that took me a year back in 2004 yeah sandy and ron fair's zone music yeah oh, it I, is. i'm pretty sure ron fair was one of the few songs that yo matsu composed and it's a really good one that's one of my favorite songs in the game that and um i like 
I'm really fond of Zyta. I'm really Ooh, fond yeah, to yeah. Um, and Mora. Mora, yeah. Mm -hmm. All all the music's good though, but But yeah, it's all awesome. Yeah. Trying to Trying to find our way. Find here. our way. We need to go like right there. <sighs> I've never been here before, so I'm I'm just like Looking for ramps. Hmm. Oh cool. Okay, so I haven't really heard anything about Seekers, so um Nice. I've heard Geomancer super fun. Maybe. Are you with me? Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing Seekers and I've never done it before, so that's exciting. This way. Yeah. And what's really cool is that um we've been seeing people lately that have characters that are like above level 99 that they have like yeah and sub jobs and like that are like 52 and stuff it's really neat um there's a lot to this game that we don't know yet I th I, in fact when we first started back and this is new i think and i was like i thought the game was glitched or someone was hacking i was like how the hell is his sub job like 40 no his sub job was 52 yeah, i was like this, he's a <laughs> hacker hacker i don't want to report him <laughs> he's a hacker he's obviously <laughs> But then I'm like, and then someone commented on our video, like, like you're an idiot. no, no, you can actually do that now. It's legit. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh, not a fan of Geo. I've never really played with Geo before, but outside of a trust. Yeah, yeah, we did have a trust one time. I think everyone like most of the people like dual box in this game, triple box, sometimes six box, and they always have a Geo. It's like almost like you have to have it. It's really sad that people are just playing with themselves now. When I, when I, when I play this game, everyone was like a team and mm -hmm. making new friends in the dunes. Suffering together. Now it's just... It's still a great game. Don't get me wrong. It's just different. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't know if i go back to how it was. I, oh, I, I wouldn't. Because we've played some private servers that are like old school and... What the heck? How are you supposed to get up there? Maybe go north and the west? Okay, we'll try. Rune Fencer's cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I've always liked the greatsword stuff. Do you remember the, oh, the yeah. game hour tower? Yeah, and and the, then there's that warning that's like, um, do not neglect your um, friends, family, work, or school. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, but but really, let me play. <laughs> I didn't listen to that rule. <laughs> Obviously. Well, that's a loud vibrate feature there on your phone. I was like, uh, uh. oh, cool. Um, my sister-in-law's watching us. She she sent me a text. How cool to see y'all live. Hey. <laughs> oh, is it because I put it This up? is our first time, so. Is it because I advertise on Facebook? Maybe. I haven't logged into Facebook in like three years, and I'm like, I'm still alive, everyone, and I'm still playing 11. It's uh, been a long time. I, don't, I think it's been more than three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're nerds. <laughs> we're not playing Fortnite or anything. We're playing 11. That's right. Like, what the heck is 11? What is that game? We're all going to be in a retirement home soon enough, and we're all going to be playing 11 still. <laughs> in the nursing home. And I'm like, I need a puller. <laughs> the puller falls asleep and, like, literally dies from a heart attack. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. We lost our puller. Okay. Oh, actually, let's get on a mount. Should all the damn bars keep di dying around here. All that the bards keep dying. <laughs> 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 that got dark really fast. It did. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's gonna be our future. Playing eleven in the nursing home. Playing up. At that time, it'll be like a private server because <laughs> the real, the real official server is probably dead by then. Oh, yeah, you no need party for wipe. party wipe. <laughs> Get a party wipe. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and the tank is, uh, you know, kind of going senile and forgets his buttons every five seconds. You have to <laughs> teach him the game every five seconds. Provoke, dude. <laughs> Provoke, dude. <laughs> What's provoke? <laughs> You're the tank. I'm a tank. <laughs> <laughs> this will um give us a new teleport. Oh, I'm invisible. Oh, 
Oh, we haven't. We've never got the staging point. Mm -mm. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Re-raise doesn't, doesn't work in real life. I know, right? I wish I can cast re-raise before I do something crazy. <laughs> like Tom Cruise needs re-raise all of his stunts that he pulls. Oh my gosh, I know, right? Okay, are you in here yet? There you are. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's use this device so that it unlocks the portal oh, right. and come right back. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I was getting distracted. I never really heard anybody talk about this expansion treasures before really story wise so I never I didn't really know what to expect and so far it's been kind of boring but there's been some funny parts too like I really like um Naja Salehim she's really funny I really like her and I, um, and I was and really glad to see Shantoto I really like her um helper I can't pronounce his name but Abquiba that you always yeah. make a redneck. Uh, yeah, I give him a southern accent. I don't know why. It just seems <laughs> fitting to him. It gave him a lot of character. I, I like that guy. I do too. All right, come up here and teleport to Mumblejaw. Mm -hmm. We have enough credits, I think. Yeah, I think we so. We have 82,000. I have 148,000. One of the first things we did in Treasures was we got get the, our Walmart turban. Yeah, we got our Walmart turban. <laughs> we still have them. I I'm wearing I'm, mine. Actually, I'm wearing it. I just I'm lock styled. If I if I showed you guys my armor, you'd be like, "What year is it?" Uh, that's me because All I'm right. I'm wearing my Walmart turban and my Kieran's Asode and right. my H Cody's and my Fumas. All right, guys. If you're watching, I'm going to show you my awesome 75 lock style off. Look at my awesome oh, 75 look at you. armor. I have kitty pants, the Fuma. The, I couldn't get the O Cody. I got the hobby. I got the wall. I got the Walmart turban and, and my Hagen. <laughs> I am. I'm packed, man. Okay, now examine me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight out of 2005. You bought your brown belt, though. You didn't earn it. Okay, that's true. Yeah. But I have bought it before, <laughs> just not on this character. On this character, like, I just haven't had time. I probably will go get it myself so I can sell it. It's amazing how you can go to Sky and just get kitty pants now, like, in an hour. When before, I tried for a year, and mm -hmm. I never got it. They had another character, like Naja, but a Mel. They used to yell at you to get your assault rank ups. But they did away with it. A lot of that content. Yeah. I thought about doing Assault, but I don't know if it's even worth my time. Maybe if I'm keeping 75, but... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through all that. Um, if there's no story. Right. We're going to need to pause. Can you pause the stream? Sure. I'm about to wait on our, you. Our, <laughs> <laughs> I can pause the recording. Uh, Do you have to go? Um, our daughter's having a massive nosebleed. She said the worst one she's ever had. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. So, that's important. Yeah, let me, it's important. Let me, let me pause it like, here. And one of our uh, daughters had a nosebleed. It looked like a crime scene in there. Man, there was like blood all over the floor. <laughs> yeah, she's always had bad nosebleeds. And uh, every time you get them fixed or whatever, you get cauterized, you know, and, and it just keeps happening. Poor thing. <laughs> I think she's. You just. Hey, honey. Are you in there? Can't hear me. Are you, are you almost done? Oh, okay. work that'd be awful gives me anxiety just thinking about it I remember my first day in high school I had a big nosebleed 
Probably from the nerves, you know. We're out there in the hallway, right before class started, so... I'm running around with like blood, just like a trail of blood all over the bathroom. <laughs> get them so much anymore though thank god but man it's you feel helpless i feel like yeah there's not much you can do if you tilt your head back all it does you just swallow it just gotta wait if you go to the hospital i'm not sure if they can do much either besides maybe just close the vein I haven't got to that point yet, though. There's been a few times where she had a nosebleed, and I was like, do we go to the hospital? What do we do? It's like... Okay. You're bleeding out. <clears throat> where are you? At the door? Uh, yes. I'll go through the door now. Oh. I'm already done. I've already done that, right? You've already left the door? Did I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was, okay. Maybe I did. <laughs> I forgot what we did. Are we... Yeah, she's always had really, really bad nosebleeds. I don't know what, like, usually about every nine months to a year, um, we have to take her to the specialist to have it cauterized, but it's not fun. Our bathroom looks like a crime scene. <laughs> yeah. I was wiping up the floor with Blood the everywhere. Clorox wipes. <laughs> and the, uh. the, the floor has a little bit of a... Uh, a red cranberry tint to it now. <laughs> <laughs> the shower curtain's a little tinged, yes. but it'll shower be fine. curtains probably need to be. <laughs> you might be able to get it out, but I don't know if mm, I can wash that or not. Might need like, to get new ones I don't there. know. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, Terry. How are you? Yeah, she's okay. It's good to see you. I hope you don't mind us wa uh, watching us play a really boring video game here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've never tried ice. Um, yeah, that would work. That'd probably work. If not, at least make you feel like it's working. It might make you feel better, I guess. I right? <laughs> Sometimes you need that like that mental boost. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, look. A crystal. Yeah, we can't wait to go back to Louisiana. Louisiana. Oh my gosh, yeah, yes. Oh, it totally was like a scene out of Psycho. <laughs> yeah. Blood everywhere. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, we just, can't wait to go back to Louisiana. I can't wait to see you. It was like uh, Psycho, but a lot less stabbing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No uh, stabbing wee, wee, wee. involved. None of that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tame. Pretty boring. Uh. We are in the right spot. Yep. I don't think there's any enemies in here. Well, I'm just being careful. <laughs> cool. That's yeah, awesome. We usually, um, well, we usually play like something together every day if we can. Um, well, usually we just record and put on YouTube, but we thought it'd be kind of cool to do it live also while recording. That way we can talk to people. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Yeah, she was um, tipping forward and doing everything. She's had him for so long, but... Um, Unfortunately, she lost so much blood. She's like a little lightheaded and sleepy now, so she's just laying down. Yeah, if you just tilt your head back, all all it does is just you just runs back it. in your throat, and yeah, yeah. that's not good. Hmm. It's gonna make me read for an hour, isn't it? <laughs> Probably long cutscene incoming. Here we <laughs> we'll, go. <laughs> we'll take we'll take a <laughs> periodic breaks. <laughs> I brought a banana, so I have a banana snack <laughs> right in the middle of the dialogue. <laughs> banana break. So if you're new to this stream, I read all the female characters, he reads all the male characters, so... <laughs> well, I try to read. <laughs> he tries to read. Often fail. <laughs> Wait, I can hear... With, with words like mumbled -mum jaw, I mean, it's kind of hard to read these words. <laughs> Talking up ahead. Can you understand what they're saying? I know a little of their language. Translate for us. Doubt there is not. For what we have long searched, it must be. Uh, 
That is a creepy looking dude with the two heads. Oh, wow. He's, uh... Something go wrong. <laughs> An experiment gone wrong. <laughs> Meant to threaten us. Is this toy? Hmm, dangerous. It does not seem. Hiss, hiss. The intention of the Ergon leaders, that is. The cunning tricks and devious plans they have used against us. Forgotten, have you? Even so, to fear in this frail contraption, what is there? Facts. We have not. Disassemble this gadget, we must. That will not be necessary, Lance Lord. Not if its secrets are already known. Know these secrets, do you imply? I believe I do. Hmm. To deceive us, you attempt. He talks like Yoda. Yeah, he does. Allow this charade. We will not. Stay silent, outsider. You shall. <laughs> I have to do my Yoda voice. You get your Yoda voice, I can't, yeah. I can't do Yoda, though. Grr. <laughs> can, you do, can you do Yoda? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to imagine it. Hold on. Uh, if I, it'll probably sound horrible if I tried it. Over. Uh, no. <laughs> that was good. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Over, this is not. <laughs> I'll just embarrass myself. In this <laughs> outsider's opinion, we are interested. I'll I'll tark. Sure, I'll tark. Yeah. Bicker for a hundred years we could, or instead hear something useful we may. Yes, I'll tarch. Maybe it's I'll tarch. Maybe. Kindred to the brethren of the shining skill. What say you, my lord? <laughs> if I may. This is nothing more than a simple puppet. It is a mechanical creation that belonged to Zhao Zan, the former emperor of Adragon. Grr. That's a creepy head. Mm-hmm. Zhao Zhan. Yes, my lord. It was the first automaton in existence, a, a personal project of Zhao Zhan's. An invention of our enemy Zhao Zhan. Ignore this, we cannot. Even if so, this is destroy us. How can it? <laughs> Broken many of these puppets we have. God, I wish I knew Yoda right now. I know, right? Allow me to explain. I have learned some very interesting facts from my observations around the palace. Interesting facts? A craftsman known as Gatsad often passes through the Imperial White Gate. Gatsad? Heard that name, have we? Heard that name we have. I would not be surprised, especially if he was the craftsman who led the development of automatons. Then this... Yes, this is likely his creation. There is more. But wait, there is more! <laughs> this man is also the head alchemist for the Alt Ergon Archaeological Research Institute, an organization that is currently investigating the ruins of Alza Dal. This Gassad, both craftsman and alchemist he is, and historian as well. So it appears. What is even more intriguing are the Empire's activities of 50 years ago. Even before the invention of automatons, the scholars of the Empire were conducting large-scale investigations of the ruins. Rumors say the ancient Yalzadal technology gleaned from the archaeological sites was used in the construction of the modern mechanical puppets. Created are these automatons to search the ruins why do they continue? I don't know what word I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just reading. <laughs> no, except this is truth, I cannot. To resurrect the Iron Colossus of legend, do these Atergon fools seek? All I have is rumor and hearsay. But the signs. Madness. The Iron Colossus consumed Aradija in flames, that machine did. To extinguish our entire race, do they intend? Molaja. Be calm, you must. In front of our guests, you embarrass us. An overlord of the Movaja, are you not? Atrar, our tarch. We apologize, but a dire situation this is. The fate of our entire race hangs in the balance it does. I understand your fears, Sage Lord, but it is not why we have forged an alliance. 
The Imperial Army does not have the resources to escalate a war if it fights on two fronts. On the dawn of our agreement, we will unleash the fury upon the Empire, the Mamaja hordes from the west, and my fellow warriors from the east. The research of some ancient war machine will be the last thing on the minds of the Ot Ergon commanders. And once we have seized control of the Empire, we have only to cripple this iron engine of destruction beyond repair to guarantee our total victory. Snarl. If an empty promise, this is not. I swear to you by the heavens and the earth, I shall not play you false. And if my notions, I'm sorry, my nation's oath should be broken, be broken should it, I will present myself before you and fall upon my sword. Urgh. Upon your sword, you will fall. A far eastern tradition is this. Conviction you possess. Autarch? Is something amiss? Ah, smell it, I can. The flesh of smooth skins. Out you come. A place to hide there is not. From this sepular? Sepular? Sepulcher? Sepulcher? There is no escape. <laughs> Rewind, you overheard? I I am not the guest show you know. Uh oh. Busted. <laughs> you lizard man. Return all Jane to us immediately. Yes. You finally get a line. You tell him, Nijing. If you damage a single bolt of Avjang's. A name this toy has? Avjang, stop that. You stop that at once. Avjang, Avjang, you have to wake up. It's no good. Maybe her breaker's broken? <laughs> breaker's broken, sorry. Fine, I'll activate her myself. Yes, her receptor is not receiving. <laughs> Smooth skins, before this machine, about your own life, you should worry. Altarch, to the Lancelord, leave these intruders. Ah, gahi jaw. <laughs> Offended the uh, Altarch, have we? Very well. In your lance arm, our trust we place. Yes, regret this, you will not. <laughs> Send more soldiers in time I will. Deprive them of all the fun. Do not. Do we have to fight this guy? Um, we're supposed to fight the Lance Lord Gahilja. Oh. Which I think might be that thing. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> he looks mean. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. He tossed him like puppet. a taru. Oh, Jing. <laughs> Poor puppet. Poor puppet. So is Puppet Master one of the most useless jobs ever created? <laughs> I don't know. Rich V! Oh ho, the orders of my kills you have ruined. Nah, I'm fine. But your wound. You forget, I'm an immortal. Now you get out of here. Avjane is more important. We will return for you! All right, now it's time to touch the door again, and we will fight. I touched it. <laughs> puppet in peril. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I think Puppet Master really is one of the most useless jobs in the the whole game. <laughs> but they have a certain charm to them. They're cute. Yeah. yeah. They're always kind of like too expensive for me to really play. Oh yeah. Go ha ha! Die die! Smooth skin slug. 
What? Be stomped as well. Do you wish? Alright. Now remember, we are level 75, so it it might be somewhat challenging. Mm-hmm. Granted, we're we have trusts. So make sure you eat your gesso. food. Eat your food, Tina. <laughs> All I have is a coral sub. Me too. That's the best food that we could buy from the Moogle. Yeah, we're cheap. And the auction house is not really well not stocked with well 75 stocked. food anymore. Yeah. Everything's like overkill for 75s. Alright, let's do this. I'm scared. <laughs> Hold me. But <laughs> she blast him. Even though I'm not ninja, or I'm sorry, I'm not thief, I'm always on the butt on the oh, monster. Oh, me too, because we've played thief and sub thief for so long. Oh, I know. Just a habit. Mm hmm. Oh, he didn't like that. I noticed that Sesho doesn't hold hate very well, so be careful. Gesho? Gesho. Maybe he does. We're still used to having a paladin that we have to... We might pull hate every once in a while, so keep your... That's true. Keep your uh, shadows on. I'm subbing Dancer. I'm gonna go ahead and one hour. He's invincible right now. Oh, Bad really? time to do it. Oh man. Alright. Is, is he still doing it? I saw him. Uh, his HP's going. Wait, no. Someone's hitting him, but it wasn't me. Well, darn it. I wasted my two hour. Yep. Oh well. We only fight something like once an hour, so I might as well one hour. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wonder if he was tough back in the day. I bet he was. Because it's taken us quite a while to beat him. It's his defense. Mm -hmm. We're only hitting him for like 116. I've hit him for zero every time. Except my Chi Blast. Oh, I hit him for 59. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Shintoad was hitting him pretty hard. Thunder hit for 500-ish. He was talking smack to us the whole time. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Hurt they do not. Itch they do not. <laughs> hey, Yoda. I guess we're gonna sit here and wait. Guess so. Lady Afmal. <laughs> Just a little further, Afmal. Okay. Almost there. A little farther. Beijing, come a little closer. Give me your hand. <laughs> That's so cute. It is cute. Beijing. It's kind of refreshing to see low damage numbers. Modern games with damage in the thousands. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know, man. Right? That is true. Hehe. <laughs> I like Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior or whatever because they have like low numbers. Just low stats. I, I like that. I'll be taking this little tin man, thanks very much. Nijing! Uncouth imp. Hand, unhand me, unhand me, I say. Whoa ho, they wound you a little tight. I'm sorry, they wound you a little tight, didn't they, Tin Man? Did you really want to be squirming around like that? It's a long way down. 
We'd have to change your name to Scrap Metal Man. <laughs> Please, don't hurt him. <laughs> That's more like it. I love the music. It really reminds it me cool. of yeah, the old school yeah. games. You would want to end up like your tin lady here now, would you? <gasps> it's the pirate! This is the automaton couple of Calamity? I'm pretty sure, boss. Return her at once! She's my Avjang! What did you just say? Give me back my Avjang! Are you hard of hearing? Ha ha! Ha ha ha! What are you laughing at? Flit. I do believe Avjang and Minjing are the puppets we were looking for. And here I thought arriving late to the strategy meeting would have resulted in some unpleasantness with my Momojo hosts. Instead, these gifts simply fall into my hands. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Just tossed him in. I feel bad for the puppets. I know. Wait! Lady Athmal, no! I like how she held her breath like she's going in the water. I know. Athmal, I felled. Felled. Can you hear that rumbling? A large force of Mamal Jaw is headed this way. 70, 100, no more, like 200. There, these must be the soldiers that the Ochark spoke of sending. He's leaving nothing to chance. Listen to me, Rewind. That way appears to be relatively clear for the moment. You must try to escape from here. Once you're out, you have to go after Lady Athmal. This is my duty as an immortal. I'll hold the Lizard Man as long as I can. I have pledged my life to the Empress. Save your pity. Now go. So his eye got damaged. Yeah, he, it looks like he, like, has a black eye. Wolf four to the lion. Wolf four to the lion. The gold has been taken. I repeat, the gold has been taken. The mission is in the hands of the wildcat. I repeat, the mission. Uh-oh. He's drastically outnumbered. We did not beat the um, the record. <laughs> no, <laughs> the record was thirty nine seconds. <laughs> seconds. Somebody brought their ninety nine character in there. Oh, totally. Probably didn't even pull out the trust. Just went in there and just <laughs> one shot him. Yeah. At least we're playing it like that at the level we're supposed to be at. It makes it funner. It does. Okay, white gate, two.
you want to know what the fight was like back in the day, there's a high-level version of it which should be now available. That's cool. I've never done any of the high-level versions of fights. I've heard about that. Sounds, sounds pretty fun. And scary. Mm -hmm. And scary. <laughs> well, first of all, we have, like, nobody in the game. But the we have no really. friends. <laughs> yeah, we have no friends. That's... We'll have to be like everyone else and just play with ourselves with our <laughs> six characters. Right. Paying like 60 a month to beat content. Okay, see, do you have Davuka Isle? No, just Azoth, Mummel, and Alvang. Darn, I have it. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a Unity Warp or something I can go? No. Um, can you put on your Nexus cape and see if you can warp to me? I don't know if it works in Treasures. If it doesn't... I don't think it does. Okay. Well, then we will just go... That's fine. We will just unlock it for you. You must have got it for your blue mage. Probably, because I, I got quite a few spells out here. Nashmail. Is that the first page or second page? Uh, second page. No. Arapago yes, I found it. In the Nashmail. Yeah. They have several settings once you clear it. On the normal, it unlocks difficult and very difficult. That's cool. Ooh, cool. This game has like... There's like endless content, I swear. You're, you'll it never feels like bored. we'll never um, have done everything. And even if you do, you know, start over again. That's true, because new characters are fun too. You know, it's that's twenty years of content. Twenty-one years if you include Japan. That's true. Oh, so see, Pup is amazing and very powerful. We'll have to try it someday. Yeah, I was mostly <laughs> just joking. I just remember back in the day they kind of got a bad rep back in 2006, but I'm sure they're fine now. I had a, I had a friend that played Pup in the in the bad years a long time ago, and he swore by it. He was like the only Pup I ever knew. <laughs> and he rocked it, man. I was always too broke. The automations were expensive. Oh, crap. I don't have an Imperial Silver piece, do you? Oh, really? I have well, a gold piece. Yeah, we need silver. Go back in. Can you buy it here? I don't... Is there an auction house here? With Pup, I always remember the reputation of you'd have to spend millions, and then at the end of the day, you people would still call you a gimped monk. Which is probably not fair, but you know, you know how it is. No, that's not fair. Back in my day, <laughs> in 2005, before Samurai had uh, Hasso and all that, people called Samurai a Gimp Warrior. And like, oh, Samurais are useless until 30. Until meditate, they're useless. <laughs> Horrible. Hard to believe. And my, my Samurai didn't get jobs or, or parties, I mean. Um, back to White Gate 1 and we'll get us some, buy us some silver pieces. You want to just do it? Oh, you want me to just go buy us some silver pieces? <laughs> I'll pay you back in love. <laughs> oh, see, there is a way. There is a reason there to do assaults. There is a reason to do assaults. I want to try the assaults, but you've been really stubborn. I read where the first one, all you have to do is kill like 14 worms. It can't be that hard. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind trying it. It's just... Oh, I know. I remember when people used to say LOL Dragoon, and I've always loved Dragoon, but back then, yeah. like, your two hour was to call out your wyvern. <laughs> yeah, that didn't. <laughs> they still kicked butt in piercing parties, though. Okay, silver pieces. Yeah, I felt bad for Dragoons. Wasn't as bad as Samurai back then, but... Back in 2005, 
Warrior and Ranger. Ranger for sure is where he is had all the love until they got nerfed. They got nerfed bad. I remember when Samurai was awesome. They um you would do you would sub ranger and you would uh, spam uh, the the archery spells, you know? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Um, what's it called? The help me. The Range attack? No, the weapon skill. Oh. I think I have it on me. No, I don't, I'm not subbing Ranger. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. They just spam it, and like, they just like had so much TP. It was crazy. And then you would Pinta spam with your pole arm, and that'd like almost give you all your um, TP back. It was amazing. I've never heard of Stranger of Paradise. Uh, it was kind of, it was at, um, Team Ninja, right? Team Ninja made it. Um, yeah, I, it's on the bucket list. Are you gonna, okay. Do you want some money? No, because I just used my, um, Imperial points. Oh, okay. We have a lot. Black Mage, I remember when the Treasures came out, it killed Black Mage. Because... All the birds. Yeah, Sidewinder, thank you. That's it. All the all the birds. Re, uh, not all of them, but most of them, like, reflected and stuff. So Blight Mages, I, they all bitch. Like, oh, I hate treasures. I'm useless now. When we played together for the first time... It was during the Treasures era, and we were both Tarus. Mm -hmm. and, I was uh, she, White Mage. Yeah, she was a White Mage, and I was a Red Mage, and we always staticked. And the, it was kind of nice, because I hated being a Red Mage solo healing, because that's, that's too much work and stressful, so... What I would do is I'd kind of back up Nuke and stuff like that. I'd sub White Mage and have a, have a lot of fun. Trade her a Silver Piece? Uh, what was Jason's first job? Mm, I'm going to guess warrior. Warrior? I thought it might be pup, but I'm not sure when you started. <laughs> <laughs> um, where is it? There it is. Oh, 50. I'm rich. Yeah, white mage was my first 75. My first job was samurai. Well, actually, it was actually Thief, but I was, ironically, I was too broke to continue leveling it, so I switched to White Mage. <laughs> and then with White Mage, I made some money, and then I leveled Samurai. Did you, like, stay in Juno and offer taxi service? <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> you gotta pay the bills somehow. Okay, go straight. Use the teleporter on the right. Because with Thief, if you show up to a party wearing Gimp gear, they'd make fun of you. Like, I had a guy make fun of me because I didn't have, like, really good gear at level 30. I was like, dude, come on. I'm, like, level 30. Give me a break. That's messed up. He wanted me to have, like, full mercenary captain gear or whatever. I'm like, I'm not from Windor, so I can't afford all that crap. <laughs> oh, Black Mage. Okay. Um, I got... Oh, yeah. On my very first Taru, um, I got Black Mage to 99, and I really, really enjoyed it in Abyssia. Like, being able to um, proc the monsters with the certain spells, that was super fun. That's when Black Mage really shined. Until Treasures came out, and it killed you. Well, no, like, you yeah, just had yeah, to get like, past Treasures, because it was really fun in Abyssia. The Black Mages, like, got together and made, like, Black Mage parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really sucked in Treasures. But once you got past that and you were like level 90, 99, it was really fun in Abyssia. Blight Mage is fun in 11. I like it a lot better than 14. 14 Blight Mage is like... Oh, ugh. man. Um, 11's great. So I've gotten every job in 14 to 30. And some jobs higher than that. Um, I've got like a couple of level 80 jobs, but I got every job to 30. And by far, the hardest one to get to 30 was Thalmaturge that turns into Black Mage. It was just, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> oh, darn it. Don't get on your mount. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, oh. Too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> I did the same thing the other day. I did too. 
You gotta talk to Newman first. Dang blue mages, I think they own the world. Here's your coin and go suck on it. <laughs> we'll have to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's do sneak and invisible. And just in case, because sometimes there's like invisible chigos that like come out and aggro you. Oh, I remember that first came of treasures. Um, I got aggro by Chigo or something. I was like, what? I'm getting attacked by fleas. And I died yes. from fleas. I'm level 75. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like chiggers in the grass. Like, uh, uh, I'm, that Lamia might be true sight. We better. When, uh, when parties didn't, um, want me, I had to skulk around dungeons looking for IT mobs. Beastmaster. Yeah, I remember the Beastmaster pets. I could kill their pets, yeah. Some people still yep. do that on private servers. That's how they play. Yeah. Is rounding up the Beastmaster pet. It's not very good XP because it takes forever to spawn back. But hey, if mm -hmm. you're looking for 2 or 3k an hour and you're doing nothing, and that's your only option. Right. That's what you do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And you, this is before level sync. Yeah, because now, I mean. Level sync would have helped just great level back sync. then. Yeah. Because uh, you use level sync in dunes or something and you get some XP. Level sync. Was really a good addition to the game, but it also kind of ruined the game a little bit. But even in the Treasures era, it was hard to find people. You had to make statics and stuff because you get like you get to the horrible leveling spots, gaps and leveling and. There might be four white mages seeking, but no tanks. Right. Okay, I'll wait for you to use this teleport and come right back. The best parties were the Japanese parties. But I'd only get them in the middle of the night. And they'd only invite me if I'm like a really needed person, like a white mage or a healer or something. They would never invite me as a DPS, ever. <laughs> but I would come as a white mage, and I was blown away how good they were. Mm-hmm. They would kill... Very toughs and toughs as fast as possible and never break, never stop for an hour. And all of a sudden, they all stop. Like, what's going on here? Why'd they stop? And they're like, they all start talking Japanese. They don't say much during the party at all. They don't say a word until the very last minute. They, you see a bunch of Japanese symbols, whatever you call their, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, what's going on here? And some guy translates, party done. Okay. <laughs> party done. <laughs> so if, if one person leaves, they all leave. And they'd always wait for you to go together to the camp. Americans and Europeans never did that. Mm -mm. They'd replace you. They'd drag your butt all the way out in the middle of nowhere. And then the party disbands. It's like, I, I spent an hour to get here, guys. And you're leaving? Ugh, so rude. <laughs> Japanese never did that. Yeah, they were all the rage. And it, like I'm telling you, man. You, you, you had to be a white major or a bard or something. They would never invite you if you weren't Japanese. But if you got into a party, oh, dude, it was the best. It really feels like modern parties now. They play kind of ahead of ahead of their time. Mm -hmm. Americans thought, let's kill some, you know, IT plus 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 plus. Nearly wipes us. We get 200 XP and then rest for an hour. Now Japanese thought, let's kill VTTs as fast as possible. Never break, never rest. It's about the XP per hour. Right. Not the XP a kill. So you might only get like 100, 150 a kill, but you're killing them so fast. I'm sorry, am I supposed to be doing something? Yeah, come back to me. You were unlocking the teleport and then come back. Oh, I'm so sorry, I was talking. <laughs> I'm just waiting. There's like a really cool samurai that just spawned in. I was checking her out. What is it, Duka? Devuka? Devuka. Kanji, yeah. I, I did try to learn some Romanji how to communicate with them and I think they kind of appreciated that a little bit I had a little I had a I had printed out a cheat sheet of common sayings to say hi and stuff like that in the off chance I got into a Japanese party I would try my best to communicate but whenever I tried they kind of just looked at me probably looked at me funny and like bless his heart he's trying he's trying <laughs> where are you outside the outside the gate I'm 
I'm coming. Yeah, like, it was like my dream to get a Japanese party. I would practically beg for one. Only happened like two or three times. Only as white mage. Because they had no choice. Their party was already formed. They like, well, we, we need a white mage and I guess we'll get some gaijin to come help us, I guess. <laughs> and when I got invited though, I tried my best, man. I wanted to really make us look good. I was like, we have a bad reputation. English speakers, so I'm going to really go Try above and beyond and let them know that, hey, some of these guys ain't so bad. That's right. But white mage isn't really that hard, though, so. What do you think the hardest job was in the old 11 days? Oh, man. Probably like, I mean, probably Red Mage, especially if you didn't yeah. have a backup healer because you would be expected to heal and haste and refresh and debuff the monster. I mean, it's not like hard, hard mechanically. It's just mostly annoying. I was I was like a Red Mage for a long time <laughs> and that might met the Matt fight was so fun. And when I beat Matt, uh, it felt so good. That was one of the hardest fights in the game. Yeah, I don't know about Japanese, but I know in German things don't always translate directly. Yeah, I probably confuse them. I even heard that the auto translate, the built in auto translate, is really like bad. It it really comes out really wrong. So even though you think you should be communicating with them, they're probably going, What? <laughs> and I read a I read a whole thing about it. I, I wish I had some examples on my top of my head, but really funny stuff did not translate well in Japanese, the auto translate feature. Oh that's funny. Yeah. And if they weren't really aware of it, if they, you know what I mean, they'd probably be really confused. But mm -hmm. the veterans probably knew better. Like, oh, he, he probably meant to say this. It's a cool feature. Really ahead of its time when Square added that, but it wasn't really implemented as well as we would have hoped for. It never really got changed. I think what happened was we got a bad reputation. We're all a bunch of newbies running around doing stupid stuff, and the Japanese take, well, let's not talk to them then. JP only. <laughs> <laughs> like, they had their chance, and they failed, so we're not even going to bother with it anymore. Sailing. Sailing without a care. This ship can take us anywhere. Da -dum, pa -rum, pa -rum. I think it's Red Mage. I think the Red Mage is the hardest. That or maybe like a ninja tank in a H and M server. Mm-hmm. Wing shell. Those those badass ninjas were it always blew me away how cool they could tank stuff like that. I've always thought Summoner was really hard too. Like bringing out the correct summons to oh, do a thing. I love Summoner. I've never done it. Oh, it's it it's, seems it's really bad. complicated. Uh, it, uh, with macros. Once you have a good macro set, you're good. I need to calm down. I think one of them needs ADHD medicine. <laughs> dum de dum, rum pum, rum pum. I up. said that. I'm waiting on you. It's oh, your I'm line. <laughs> I'm behind. I'm eating my banana, okay? <laughs> it's a banana break. What is it? You should really try to enjoy yourself. Did you already see no. that? No. I, I was supposed to say that. Yeah, she's the girl. You should really try to enjoy yourself. So much fun. So exciting. Don't you think you should keep it down? Nijing, you stick in the mud. Suppressing one's joy isn't healthy. She's right, Nijing. Just look at us. We're riding on a ghost ship. Afmao, can you see anything out there? Hmm, let's take a look. Oh, Afjin, could that be? Walrus flames. Look, there's another one. Oh ho, fire on the water. Athmal. Hmm.
I don't think any of the jobs are really hard, hard, just maybe time consuming. The gear. It doesn't look like a weapon. The city below is burning. I wonder where it could be. Surely this isn't Alzebi. I'm sure it just is a, I'm sure it's just an artist's interpretation. Yes, I suppose you're right. What's wrong? This huge castle thing looks like an iron giant. And this knight holding the spear is flying in the air. A giant and a knight. A colossus and a rider. Of course. How could we be so blind? This is a picture of Alzadol and the Dark Rider. Then this scene is... Yes. The Age of Judgment. You know, the subject of this painting, I must admit to some surprise. Admiral Lusoff! Huh. <laughs> be at ease. I'm not going to harm you. Just as you suppose, this painting depicts the Age of Judgment, as it occurred close to 900 years ago. In the West, the beginning of the Crystal Era was marked the year, um, the Gordius exploded in a, a supernova. Ooh. And banished the very night. Well, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you are well educated for a young lass. Insolence. You will address her as Lady Afmau. You control both puppets? Quite impressive for such a slip of a girl. Nobody speaks to me in such a casual manner. Has the salt air eroded your manners? Um, uh, my apologies. Apology accepted. Now what do you intend to do with us? Do with you? I don't recall forcing you and your little mistress to follow me. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> you and Lady Afmal. Then we should like to disembark immediately. I'm sorry, but that will not be possible. My business concerns your automaton companions, and now that I know you are the key to controlling them, my business concerns you as well. Fine by me. We never intended to return to the palace in any case. Palace? Off, Jang. Shh. It is of no impact. I'm sorry. Import. I will instruct my crew to allow you free reign of the ship. Wait. What are you after? Why did you take Off, Jang away from me? What is this all about? What is this all about? You will learn soon enough. At Ergon, the entire world and all its people, in fact, will soon learn. Luzov looks really cool. Mm -hmm. I'd be an Alvan if I can be that be that face model. I guess you can like dat swap or whatever that's called where you take the model and put it on your face. I guess you could, but it wouldn't be legit, so I wouldn't do it. Oh, well, you would see it. There's this one plugin that makes everyone like a Taru, for example. <laughs> That'd be funny. Walk around and all you see is Tars. Yeah. So what's going on here? Um, better sneak and invisible. We're supposed to head to the ship for another cutscene. The boat. The boat. We were in a party in the dunes a long time ago, and there's this little Taro. And he and he would say da boat. Da boat. We're going yes. to da boat. For some reason, I still remember that. Yep. I know, right? It was ominous. Man, your cell phone is loud. The vibrate feature reminds me of that episode of IT Crowd where he turned yeah. the vibrator up to like ten, and everyone's and, like yeah, jumping. Moss hacked it. <laughs> <laughs>
Like in a horror movie, the cell phones are always like super loud when they vibrate. It's like really quiet. Oh, and you're yeah. Like, ah, ah, like, whoa. And everyone jumps out of their chairs because yes. of a vibrate <laughs> feature. Remember when on N64 the vibration pack came out? And I think what like Star Fox was the first game to support it. One of the first. And um Nintendo started something there. Now every controller has to have it. Even to this day. In a lot of games, I turn vibrate off though. Kinda of bothers me sometimes. You're late. The mission was a failure. Bishfi was slain. Uh oh. We were recruits together. Ever since the Immortals took me in as a child, we've always been close. But he was too kind-hearted to walk the path of the Blue Mage. He wouldn't have lasted long in any case. Don't blame yourself for the inevitable. The inevitable. Your instincts were right in coming to the Arapago Islands, but this stretch of water is dotted with hundreds of islands, large and small, and the terrain is complex. A straightforward search isn't practical. We have soldiers scouring both the land and the sea, but the Ashu Talif has a swift sail. She won't be caught so easily. We require your further cooperation. In my function as an immortal, I officially entrust you with a new mission. You are to travel immediately to Periquia and carry out a search for Lady Afmau. This is a Periquia Assault Entry Area Entry Permit. You need it to enter the secured area of Periquia. Try not to lose it. If by any chance you happen to misplace the permit, speak with Nashib at the Devuka Isle staging point. You have your orders. Track down Lady Afmile to clear this stain on your record and honor Rishfi's sacrifice. Oh, so he didn't make it when he was so outnumbered. No. That's sad. That's sad. Poor Rishfi. So... Did, okay. Didn't even know how to pronounce his name properly. <laughs> okay, we need to warp back. Um, how much longer are you wanting to play? Uh, let's wrap it up here soon. The next thing we need to do is a battle, um, like oh. an, an instance battle, yeah. um, with Lamia. Uh oh. It sounds pretty cool if you want to do that and make it our last thing. Yeah, I'm just afraid we'll get, we'll get hit by like an hour long cussing and I'll, I'll start, I'll start drifting away to sleep. Oh yeah, there might be cutscenes. It doesn't mention any, but there might be. <laughs> yeah. So we better kind of wrap this up then. Yeah. Can we just log off here? Sounds good. All right, well, thanks everyone for watching. Um, yes, thank you all so much. It was our first, uh, really my first live stream. We did it once before, but I didn't watch any chat or anything, and I, I don't even remember what we did. So <laughs> this is really the first live stream, so I'm really glad we had some people watch, and it was fun. Yeah. We'll be back later. Well, not today, but maybe tomorrow or the day after. <laughs>